The Avs win their third game of the rookie faceoff, 4-3 in overtime, making them a perfect 3-0 for the entire event. I'm going to be real with y'all. The final score of these games doesn't really matter all that much. The winning or losing doesn't really all matter all that much, at least not to me. What you're looking at here is individual players and their ability to play in the chaos, play with other people, find chemistry, do things like that. So for your sake and for my sake, let's skip all the nonsense. We don't need to talk about Vegas goals here. We just want to see what the Avs players did well, right? I'll keep it short and sweet for you. We jump all the way to the second period. The Avs are down at 2 nothing until Ryan Sandlin shows up again. So when you're at an event like this, you're looking at the full process, right? Not just the goals itself. And that's what I want to show you here. A dumped in puck, first of all. You have Ivan Ivan getting in deep, causing chaos down low, getting to a puck. He doesn't force a turnover immediately, but he causes pressure, makes it hard for Vegas to do anything with this puck. They have to get it out of there quick, and that leads to a play from Jeremy Hansel, who steps up, and because of that pressure, is in a good position to put some pressure of his own on. He's able to make a great play to keep this puck in the zone for Colorado, and that's why this whole play develops in the first place. You also get a great step up from Rollins there, forcing another turnover. All of this combines to an Avs possession in the offensive zone. Every bit of it mattered. From there, they kind of reset. They get back out up high. Hansel does a good job of taking the space given, given to him before he sends it back over to Sandlin. Sandlin then fires a puck from out high. Gets a little bit lucky on the way through, but it goes in. A lot of awesome work all around on that play. Jeremy Hansel and Milo Rollins both doing good work to keep that play alive. It doesn't happen without them. And then you get a bit lucky on the finish. You take those. The Avs keep rolling and we finally see why Oscar Olausen was a first round pick. Some goals take a lot of work, some don't. The Avs want to face off in the offensive zone. They get set up, they work it out high. And then they work it across. Oscar Olausen takes it from up high. He uses every inch of space given to him. And then he unleashes that shot of his, which is quite good. And that's that. Pucks in the net. Look, man, when he's on and finding those spots, Olausen is absolutely good enough to be an NHLer. He just needs to be able to do these types of things consistently. He has the ceiling. Does he have the floor? You fly along to the third period, and you are now down one again on the Av side, but Olausen continues to have a very good game. So I want to show you the evolution of this play. They're going to run a lot through Olausen here. He's in this left circle. He tries a shot. It gets blocked. Doesn't work. A bit later, they run it from out high with Olausen. He gets to walk in. He tries a shot, and it gets to the net, but it doesn't go in. So that's two attempts. Then they try to wind it up again for Olausen to walk into one. Another one to the net, but doesn't go in. That makes three. They find him again, but he figures he'll try a clapper this time, because why not? Now he's on four attempts. He's clearly showing he's going to shoot it every time. And then the play that gets it done is exactly what you'd expect. Look at the team selling out, trying to get back, expecting Olausen to shoot it again. But he was never shooting this. The pass across was always his plan here. He's got him fooled, and it pays off. There's skill there, and I think there's intelligence there for Olausen too. That has a package that can work in the NHL. I think sometimes I'm a little bit hard on Olausen because of the lack of consistency at times and some of the issues in his game, but he really is an NHL caliber player if he can round things out. There are enough skills there that play. This one goes to overtime, and the Avs get the game winner off of a couple of nice plays. By the way, shout out to Eddie from the Cake Eaters podcast for again getting me these clips while I was at the arena. Big props to him. This play starts with Hansel. He goes in behind his own net and throws a little bank pass up off the wall and through to Ivan, who sets himself up. He beats his man. It gives the Avs an advantage. It's currently four on four in this overtime OT because of penalties, so it's a bit of a weird spot, but this gets the Avs sprung for a three on two, or at least partially one. Ivan's able to get the blue line and then throws one YOLO, sauce backhand across to Sage Weinstein. It finds its way through. Sage does a great job to collect that pass, control it, and just throw it towards the net, and it's a perfect shot bar down far side. Avs win. Look, I'm going to be real with you all. Sage Weinstein is not making the Avs, certainly not this year, but he's an 18-year-old kid that puts that game-winning goal in his back pocket 
that could be a first step to a pro career down the line for someone like that. And more importantly, the guys behind that play in Hansel and Ivan Ivan do really help the Avs directly, Ivan with the Eagles, and for Hansel, who knows where he ends up this season, but is still part of the Avs prospect pool. Overall, there's a good chance that unless you watch a lot of AHL hockey, you won't see the fruits of this tournament very much this year, outside of maybe Malinsky. But still, there is a lot of good progress shown for the depth of the Avs organization at an event like this, and then you start to add the players who weren't here. Guliev, Barons, someone like Foodie, who would have been at this if he was healthy, Callum Ritchie, who wasn't healthy for this, and you start to see a decent prospect pool come together. It's not going to blow anyone away, it's not loaded with high-end first-round picks or anything, but it's something that hopefully the Avs can get a handful of stuff out of. And if they do that, they're going to continue to be a very good hockey team for the foreseeable future. That is the end of this game video review. A quicker one because I'm going to be up all night and we got to get out of Vegas with a very early flight. So I hope you enjoyed the abbreviated version. We are back in town covering the Avs training camp starting this week. So the coverage is going to keep on coming. Hope you all enjoyed and check out thednvr.com for all the rest of our coverage.